Hello again. Hello, Pip. How are Welcome you? to Fright Fest. Thank you. It's great to be here. How does it feel to have your film showing at the biggest genre festival in London? We are honestly blown away. It's it's uh, we're, we're from Vancouver, Canada, and here we are in London, and uh, it's a dream. The, the the fans, the audience, the amount of show that the the producers of this festival put on. It's it's such an honor to be here. I was talking to your brother and saying thank you for making the hardest film to talk about without ruining it for everybody. Yes. So, without ruining anything, what can people expect from the film? Volition, uh, yes, it is a, It is one of those sort of twisty films that you probably don't want to know too much about before seeing it. That being said, it's a cerebral, grounded cerebral science fiction thriller with some romance. It, it, some people have compared it to Memento meets True Romance. So, um, in terms of what to look forward to, um, something grounded that's going to challenge you but also leave you with uh, hopefully an emotionally resonant feeling at the end so well done thank you <laughs> not easy what were the challenges of making it i understand that the shoot was shorter than you would have perhaps liked but what other challenges were there well yes we so we produced this um tony and i produced it uh, with the team of locals in vancouver and it was really like all hands on deck production uh with tony directing and myself producing and actually our two sisters were involved in the production as well my sister was the AD my other sister was the chef it was really everyone in and all of our friends and family in Vancouver helped us as well um, the challenges the whole thing was to be honest incredibly challenging because we're not a massive budget film and uh, it was really a, a, about passion and passion overcame all the all the challenges we had so um, yeah. You wouldn't know that from watching it, that it wasn't a big budget film, because it looks polished, it looks very, very... Well, maybe I should say budget. that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, how do you, I guess, how do you learn to work within those constraints and still make it look as good as you did? Well, uh, Tony, uh, my brother, as a director, has great experience with really making the best of what he has in front of him. As well, our DP, Byron Kotman, the two of them really worked in unison uh, to, to pull off visuals that really are stunning and uh, our goal was to make it a film that felt like it could play amongst any other in the cinemas and so uh, it's it's wonderful to hear that you, that you feel that way so and I was also speaking to Tony about the challenges of working with family I mean personally that would drive me mad um, <laughs> how do you cope with that yeah it's, it's working with family I mean I'm fortunate to, we, we are a very close family so we do get along really well um, there were some hairy moments on set where we were all just really stretched too thin and uh, just all working really hard. But we're quite good at um, not losing our cool. We really just talk it through logically, figure out what the best solution is, and then each divide and conquer. So uh, we're fortunate that way. We just have a really great friendship. And uh, it's never about ego. It's more about what serves the story. And uh, so far, it's working. So Tony also asked me to ask you, he said that he used to torment you as a child with sounds from Alien. Uh, so have you recovered from that? And was he as bad as he was telling me? Honestly, I don't know if I've recovered from my childhood. Like maybe you can tell. I don't know if people are like psychoanalyzing me while they're watching this. Um, but it's true. Tony did torment me. Uh, and in fact, there was a, an agreement I signed as a seven-year-old, which said I would be in the film and I would not go wimping and crying to mom. And people can actually watch this on one of our webisodes on our, on our website. Uh, so that agreement that we have is still in effect. And um, since then, I'm not really acting in the films, but producing and co-writing. Uh, so far, I'm not wimping, crying to mom. So I'm holding up to my end of the bargain. I hope you gave as good as you got when you were younger. Well, I, I did. I mean, like, it, I fought back. I think it built some resilience in me. And um, I'm all the stronger for it. You know, I'm here. <laughs> so finally, we're at Horror Film Festival. What's been the most influential horror film for you? Oh, the most influential horror film? I, uh, I mean, I suppose this, The Sixth Sense is really, um, which is a horror film. I mean, it's, yeah, I'd say that's a horror film. Um, that film was just really moved me at the time when I saw it. And, from, and the writing, the directing, um, yeah, it's just, I think it's just a, a, a fantastic film. And it still stands up, or holds up. Did you say stands up, holds up? Yeah, it's still doing it. Well, that's all my questions. So, um, good luck with the film. I hope it does great things for you. Thanks and so much, uh, thank you for speaking to me. Yeah, thank you so much.